What's going on everyone and it's the beginning of a day that's going to be a really really long one but so my first port of call and I've arrived now I'm currently in Chelsea in London uh, I'm going to be on a, a fashion shoot today with um, a local brand to us but they're, they're meeting a model in London that's going to be the first part of my day uh, the second part of my day is I have to go and travel to Birmingham uh, to Body Power HQ because recently they have taken over Flex Magazine and Muscle and & Fitness and I've been invited to one of their conferences tonight with all the federations and contributors who are going to have their input in the magazines and also going to be interested to in find out what they're actually doing, what kind of approaches they're doing now and yeah, it's uh, going to be an interesting meeting and yeah, just going to see how I can contribute to that as well. So just met up with everyone and we've had a little chat about what we want. So clue is in the brand name really, so Rose London and we are in fact in London, which is gonna be really good opportunity for some really nice high-end clean sort of backgrounds. So there's a big overcast today, so we aren't gonna worry about too much about variance of light. And I think one thing you've got to bear in mind as well that even though there is an overcast, the sun is still coming through quite strong. You just gotta kind of guess where that is and judge on the highlights that are going on the model because if you don't and you're exposing it properly those those darker tones are still quite low and I just don't think it has as much impact so I think something they're doing really well at the moment is it's kind of telling a story of what you're doing and I think that's what fashion is all about so personally when I'm shooting for these style of brands I'm personally looking for that high contrast sort of look but what I mean by this the shadows would be really really dark but you also got that punchy feeling with the colors and You've got to kind of position them quite strategically, uh, especially if it's an overcast day. You've got to look in the sky, and if you place them in towards the direction in the sun, like those colours will still pop, but you also get that nice contrast look. And yeah, this will really make things pop out on social media. So, so I had a long stop shooting with the guys and we were doing a few things today that reminded me about what you should get in regards to content. So they have spent quite a lot of time getting to know their audience, knowing what people react to on social media for their type of brand. And yeah, they're good at finding backdrops where they know people are going to relate to and uh, also finding different things that are going to associate with your audience and all these kind of things help. It's not just really about the product and as good as the product is, it's all about a story you create and a lot of things accumulatively make the big difference. So what I mean by this is, is finding things in a general environment that people are going to relate to. So even things such as popular cars at the moment or certain brands which people are wearing to go with clothes, uh, this makes it all relatable to your audience. So when you're doing stuff like this, you're going to tap into the emotional side of your audience. So, for example, people start thinking, oh, that's a really popular place, that looks really nice. Or, oh, that, that's like a really awesome car at the moment, which everyone seems to want. Or a certain brand or accessory which they're wearing is like, oh, that's, that's really, really top at the moment. So, yeah, they're going to start talking about it, start engaging with it, just because they feel a lot more related to it. So... Within that social chain, that's such a powerful thing if you want to get your content out there. So I'm going to stop talking now. I'm on my way to the next part of my day. I'm going to hopefully try and get on my laptop as well. But yeah, let's go and see the guys at Body Power. <laughs> 